Norma Dumont versus uh, Danielle Wolf. By the way, this is MMA Al Dente. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit. This show is sponsored by Great Propel. All right. Um, uh, Norma Dumont did what she should have done. Well, maybe you could argue she should have finished Danielle Wolf, but the next best thing is kicking her ass and dropping her. And Norma Dumont looked awesome. This was like, uh, you know, one of those performances like Julian Arosa versus Hakeem where Norma looked better everywhere for 15 minutes. And she should have, you know, she's fighting a limited martial artist, a boxer, you know, pure boxer who's been uh, tightening up her game for sure, but uh, not nearly enough to fight someone who, on paper anyway, who is the third best fighter in the world in the UFC or whatever. So uh, this was a really tough matchup on paper. I thought Danielle Wolf fared very well on the ground, you know, uh, not that she did well, but for somebody, for my expectations, I thought they were met and even exceeded in just little things like reclaiming her guard or half guard and, you know, little things she did. I remember thinking, ah, I'm impressed with that. You know, uh, there were moments where I thought Norma Dumont would put her away, especially in the end, I think, of round three, and Danielle Wolf was there, and she was, you know, this was after getting dropped and getting hurt and beaten up, and she hung in there and fought very well, so, and again, I don't want to say, like, that's a good trait to have moving forward. I don't know about moving forward. She's 40 years old, but still, that is a good trait to have moving forward. Speaking of moving forward, though, Norma Dumont did what she should have done, got a big victory here, and, you know, like I said, coming into the fight, on paper, she should put her away. This is one of the best fighters in the world, fighting a girl who's uh, old and blah, 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 and a uh, boxer, and no experience, and whatever. The next best thing would be kicking her ass and dropping her. So Norma Dumont, her stock really rose here, you know, especially dropping her in, uh, whatever, round two. Uh, that that was awesome, and I thought, you know, she fought exactly the fight she should have fought. She's a really good overall striker, Norma Dumont. I wanted to see her get a submission here, and I bet on that, submission round two and three, and uh, came close, but uh, Daniel Wolf really impressed me defensively. But uh, on the feet, Daniel Wolf really didn't impress me uh, defensively or offensively here, you know, just, uh, and it's tough just being the boxer. You know, and it's not like she's Holly Holm or whatever. She's not that class of a boxer, but uh, she's a boxer. She had a really good win on the Contender Series over a really tough girl who's only looked good since then. But this was uh, this was the fight, or there's no how this one looks or whatever in the deceptive record and blah, blah, blah. You're fighting the third-ranked fighter in the world or something like that, Norma Dumont. This girl's very good everywhere, and it's just too much. Too much on paper, and it was too much in reality. So, uh, not not the best matchup. Um, Norma Dumont got some highlights out of it, which is good, because she is the one moving forward. You know, she's the younger fighter with uh, the future ahead of her, despite uh, her opponent having one fight. But... Uh, very good performance. That's all I could ask for. You know, Norma Dumont did what she should have done, and she looked good doing it every step of the way. Danielle Wolf from here, I'm assuming she's going to keep fighting, uh, and she could take away a lot of positives from this. It's just that glaring negative that's always going to be there on the flip side of whatever coin you're looking at. She's 39 years old, so no matter what she showed and whatever, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't see her putting together the perfect game as a fighter, the perfect package by the time she's 43 and then making a run for it's over. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll talk to you guys in about 20 seconds. Chad and Helger versus Haley, Haley Alatang. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that shit.